y'all might be texting your exes. Um, let me tell you, if one of you is texting your exes right now, put your phone down. Water sign. Put your phone down. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I have been going a little stir crazy, but that's okay, honey, if that's what this video is for. During some scary kind of uncertain times, like right now, it's super important to take care of yourself and whatever that is for you, whether it's journaling, calling your best friend or your therapist, taking your medication, or just getting out of bed and taking a shower. For me, I found that keeping up with my inner and outer beauty has really helped me a lot in maintaining sane during all this, especially since like we don't have work, we don't have school. Um, it's very easy to kind of just let yourself kind of fall by the wayside. It is currently 7 a.m. I just woke up, I have a little cup, cup of coffee right here. Tell me how you guys like your coffee. I like it like a NW45. Does anybody else? reference their coffee to like MAC colors because I do. So, so many of you guys have been asking for a skincare routine and I could do a whole separate video on just the skincare routines that I do because honey, I have so many different products, so many different natural skincare, unnatural skincare, dermatologists, pills that I've taken, I've taken, that you name it, I've taken it. But today I thought I'd let you in on some of the tips, tricks, and products that I use to keep myself silky, smooth, and mostly hairless. Keep in mind that my idea of self-care will be totally different from yours and that's good. We're all different people. Everyone has different things that work for them. For me, taking care of my outer beauty as well as my inner beauty makes me feel a little bit more human and feel a little more productive. When I'm looking my best, I feel my best. This video is gonna be pretty superficial. Like I said before, self-care is not very glamorous a lot of the times. It's not always bath bombs and face masks and painting your nails. A lot of the time it's getting out of bed and taking your meds or brushing your teeth the first time in a week or you know, calling a friend because you haven't talked to anyone in a week. But first thing is first you guys, and I'm going to hop in the shower. Taking a shower makes you feel so much better. I always say a hot shower is like a long nap. You can go into a shower feeling one way and come out feeling like a whole other person. You can go into the worst mood, put on some dope playlist and shower and like sing along, shave your legs, almost pass out, come out, feel like such a better person. Especially right now, it's really easy to let yourself be stinky and stay stinky, be crusty and nasty. I live with a boy, so I kinda um, can't let myself get nasty, but I'm sure a lot of y'all have. So let's get in the shower, sis. Let's go wash this hair. Let's go get it together. I'm about to hop in the shower. I'm gonna shave my legs, wash my body, my face, and my hair, and I will be right back. my entire body with the St. Ives lotion. This is just the cheapest one that I could find and it works really, really well. Um, of course, I exfoliated my face with the St. Ives apricot scrub. I know a lot of people say that's too rough for your skin and it probably is. Um, I just don't care. So I am about to go in with this Trader Joe's clay detox mask. If you guys haven't tried this yet, Baby, go hit up your Trader Joe's. Look for a similar option at Whole Foods, maybe. It is a game changer. Just sucks all the impurities right out of your face. So I'm gonna pop this headband on just to get my hair out of the way as it's drying. So I know a lot of people will use um, a makeup brush to apply their face masks, but um, we're not doing that today, baby. We're just using our good old fingers. And we're just gonna smear her right on. Don't you love words like smear when it comes to beauty? We're just gonna spackle her on right over the sandpaper. literally crazy. I'm gonna let this sit for about um, 10 or 15 minutes and let it dry. And what's gonna happen is it's going to get so crackly that you cannot smile. I'll show you what that looks like here. 
and I'm gonna wash it right off. First, I'm gonna wash this lovely mess right off of my hands. I'll be right back. So while this mask is drying, you can do anything. You can start a recipe you've been working on, and you can have the sixth cup of coffee you've had this morning. Think about how Carol Baskin killed her husband. Think about how Kati was robbed. It's a lot of options. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I struggle a lot getting the right vitamins and minerals in my diet. So what has proven to be super helpful for me is a blender. With a blender, you can really just throw everything together, throw a bunch of veggies in spring mix, kale, spinach, whatever. Toss it in, get your protein, your fruit, and your veggies all in one, and it's so good. Come with me, I'm gonna make it right now. So first, I'm starting off with some milled flax seeds. These are really nice because they have a lot of fiber and protein in your diet, and it's really nice to just kind of toss that right in. I get the milled because they're a little bit easier to blend, but if you prefer that, that's your business. Next, I'm gonna add a little handful of frozen berries. These are really nice. Instead of using ice, sometimes they fall out, that's okay. Half a banana. Just a little handful of spinach. We're gonna add a little spoon of some non-fat Greek yogurt right on in there. And we're gonna fill up the rest with some milk. I'm going to pop this little lid right on top. We're gonna screw it on, flip her upside down, and blend. I'm gonna pop this right off. Pop her right on. And we're ready. Okay guys, smoothie is blended. Let's try it. That's good. You really can't beat a smoothie. Like for me, I, I love to eat, but I like to eat unhealthy things and snacks throughout the day. Having a meal, especially in the morning, can be really difficult. So when it comes to self-care, it's really important to take into account what you need in your body. Are you getting enough protein? Are you hydrating enough? Are you sleeping enough? Are you moving enough? These are all things, you have to treat yourself like a child sometimes. If you're feeling sad, or you're feeling anxious, check in. Have you gotten your fruit? Have you gotten your veggies? Have you had your smoothie? Drink it up, bitch. As I'm talking, you can probably see that my face mask is like cracking a little and it's kind of hard to like smile. So I'm gonna wash it off. I'm gonna be right back and I'm going to moisturize with Pond's Dry Skin Cream. You guys, I swear by this. This is the best moisturizer on the market. It's so inexpensive. It's a classic and it's a classic for a reason. All right, and I'll be right back. Well, I don't know about all of you, but I feel spades better. While I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna put this Shea Moisture Sugar Cane Extract in Meadow Foam Seed Marshmallow Root Leave-In Treatment. It's so nice. Um, it smells kind of like candy, like it smells really, really nice. And it is very comparable to the, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Styler, but that one leaves my hair feeling kind of heavy. And this is just more soft. Being soft and feeling soft, looking soft is super important to me, especially as a trans woman, um, because male skin and female skin are different skin. And of course being on different hormones and stuff, changes that a lot and I've been as you guys know on hormones for like six years probably um probably check that I don't really know but up for a while and most of it's good but a good keep up is super important so that's why I make sure that my hair grows nice and healthy and long and soft I also like to like I said moisturize from literally head to toe in moisturizer whether it's moisturizer or lotion or coconut oil, grapeseed oil is really great. So is um, jojoba oil. So if you're looking for something that's really good for your skin and your hair, natural oils are great. There are a lot of channels on YouTube dedicated all to holistic beauty. In fact, um, Holistic Habits is one of my favorite accounts of all time on YouTube. Speaking of being soft, 
one topic a lot of girls and especially a lot of trans girls don't like talking about is shaving. If you're a trans woman like me, chances are you either do or you used to shave pretty much from here down. Um, I have had copious amounts of laser hair removal and electrolysis to try and get rid of that. I've spent hundreds, probably thousands of dollars on professional hair removal, on waxing, on laser, and all these things. And at the end of the day, you really don't have to spend that much money. If you are shaving, I always recommend a five blade razor. You need one. You just need one. Go and invest the money in yourself. Get yourself a men's five blade razor, whether it's for your face, your legs, whatever. And it will give you the smoothest shave you've ever felt. Now, if you're looking for something a little more smooth, um, for me, I grow body hair, not really on my chest or my stomach or anything, but definitely on my legs. And I have both thigh hair and calf hair. Now, for my calves, I'm currently lasering them, so I will get to that in a little bit. So I shave my calves, but on my thighs, I like it to be longer lasting and I like it to feel just soft. I don't like the feeling of stubble coming back and it is kind of inevitable with hair removal that you're going to have some kind of regrowth. When it comes to waxing, think about your hair regrowing as a tree. When you shave it, you're chopping it down right at the stump. So it's gonna grow back and feel really coarse and hard. If you're waxing it, it's gonna grow out like the root of a tree. So it's going to be finer at the top. So for me, if you're looking for a great at-home option, there is sugar waxing. I don't really know much about that. You need a whole candy thermometer and stuff. I'm sure it's great. There are videos on YouTube. I'm not that YouTuber. What I will recommend to you is these Nair waxing strips, baby. If you don't have these yet, what are you doing? These are a lifesaver. As you see here, they come in little strips. What you do is you heat it up between your hands, you peel it apart, put it on the area in the direction of the hair growth, and you rip it off as quickly as you can in the opposite direction of the hair growth. And it works, it lasts, it's just waxing. Um, this was, I think like $8. It works for my whole thighs, it's amazing. If you have finer face hair or maybe arm hair or something, these are also a great option. I believe they make face options. But if not, you can just cut them into strips and then just put it on your upper lip and you're good. I used to do that a lot, actually. Before laser hair removal and electrolysis, I was a lot more self-conscious than I am now. I would have to wear a full face of makeup every day because I thought people could see some kind of shadow when in reality I had nothing. And I would be afraid to go out in just shorts because I didn't want people to see my stubbly legs. And I have really sensitive skin, like I said before. So when I would shave, I would get razor burn, I would get ingrown hairs, the works, and it was just not a cute look. Now I will see ads for at-home laser hair removal treatments all the time, and I don't know if they work because it looks really sketchy. I mean, I, like I said, I've spent definitely thousands of dollars on hair removal over the years, and you would think something between 75 and 300 dollars would not be worth it to laser your entire body i was reached out to by a brand named catch beauty i will link them down in the description box below and they told me if they wanted to just send me their product see if i liked it and if it worked you guys know i will never support a product that i don't actually believe in they did not pay for my opinions on this product they want me to try it and let you guys know my actual opinion i've been using this at home laser hair removal device by catch beauty for about six weeks now, six to eight weeks, and I can tell you that it is really working. I do it on my calves about once a week or so on the time that I shave. First things first, you shave the area that you want to laser. You do not apply any moisturizer. You dry it off. You plug this baby in. I always turn it up to the highest setting because I just want no hair. So I turn it up to the highest setting and then it goes to work, baby. I'll show you a clip in a second. You just hold it right to the area and it zaps it right off. Laser hair removal offers permanent hair reduction while electrolysis offers permanent hair removal. So this device, I have noticed several patches of hairs missing on my legs. When I go to shave, there's less to shave. It takes longer to grow back. And overall, it's just a lot softer. This retails for, I think, $90 on their website, and I can link that right down in the description box below if you wanna try it out. Like I said, I've spent thousands of dollars on professional laser hair removal, so thousands of dollars versus 90, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the 90. For those of you who don't know how laser hair removal works, the process actually is very simple. A laser emits a light that is absorbed by the hair follicle, and that light is then converted into heat, and it damages the hair follicle so the hair can no longer grow back. 
Your hair grows multiple cycles, so it's important that you keep up with this. This laser went to light when it detects pigment or melanin in the skin. For me, that pigment and melanin comes from my hair follicles because I'm fair with dark hair. If you are blonde and have lighter body hair, or if you are darker skinned and don't have as much visible follicles, this product might not work as well for you, but for me, because I am so fair skinned, this has definitely worked wonders. I will say this takes a long time because you want to make sure that you get the entire leg. So you will be sitting there for a long time. So I'm going to be doing this while I watch Netflix and have a little cup of coffee. Number eight, maybe. and soft like butter let's move on to the next tip and that is to get active if you are still in a rut if you have taken your meds you've had water you've eaten you've called up your best friend you've waxed your legs you've lasered them and you're still sad for some reason get outside baby call up a friend go for a socially distant walk perhaps i am lucky enough to be quarantined with my boyfriend and his sister so just about every day we take a walk into downtown and we go around a park Throw on a frisbee and it's really nice. The company of a friend is so important during this time. Whether it's a brisk walk or run, if you're playing a game of frisbee with your friends, physical exercise is so important. I know you don't want to. I know you don't want to. I don't want to either. Every time my boyfriend tells me to go play frisbee, I literally am like a dog lying down in the middle of the street being dragged on a leash. But it's so important. I promise you, you will feel better after you get a little bit of physical exercise in. Just take my word for it. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I have done this entire video with not a stitch of makeup on and I'm so proud of myself. I don't know about you guys, but like there was a time where I would never leave the house without a beat face, a full head of extensions, which by the way, let's keep the natural hair baby. Um, she's like, she's pretty long. I really hope these tips helped you. Like I said, remember, self-care is different for everybody. What works for me might not work for you and what works for you might not work for me and that's okay. That's good. We're all human, baby. We're all different. Self-care for you might involve an ample face of makeup on. It might involve um, brushing your teeth for the first time in weeks. That's the second time I said that. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you're messy. Be like, girl, are you high key like don't or something? <laughs> yeah. You, you might be sober for the first time and filming a video. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm about to go and hang out with my honey. Um, we are about to probably go for a walk and play a little bit of Pokemon, we'll see. Um, if you have a honey at home, please make sure you go and hang out with them because um, that's great. If you don't have live in dick, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't relate. All right, bye. Bye.